Whatever you expect, that's really relevant. And usually it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. As a singer, it's really important to imagine what the sound is going to be that you aim for. And it's really important to not have any other singer stuck in your mind when it comes to the sound that you want to produce, but to really imagine what is this going to sound like in my voice. Imagine what it's going to sound like. Imagine like how high is that in your voice? How low is it in your voice? What is the energy level? What is it going to feel like physically? You have to literally imagine what it's going to feel and sound like when you create that sound. And if you're convinced that the sound you're about to create is going to be horrible and that it's going to crack, it's going to flip over, you're not going to land on the right pitch, it's really detrimental because the chances of you then nailing everything are slim to none. So what you want to do, you want to convince yourself of the sound that you're about to create that it's going to sound the way that you imagine it will sound. And it's really important what you imagine. Your brain has something built in like the RAS, the reticular activating system, and it literally filters out information and it looks for confirmation. Whatever you're telling yourself, it's going to look, your, your brain, your subconscious is going to look for ways to match whatever you're suggesting, whatever is going on, whatever you are thinking, whatever your truth, your reality is. Because literally there's so much information out there and whatever we see, you know, like when you just purchased a new car and then it's almost like everyone drives that car. It's not that everyone drives the car. It's just that it's on your radar. You're looking for the confirmation of this is what I'm perceiving and this is what I'm seeing now. And the same happens in your singing. Because of what you're suggesting, your brain will filter that out and it will put this kind of like at the forefront. It's like, this is the reality. This is my truth. And if your truth is it's going to suck and it's going to be horrible, you're going to sound horrible. You're not going to sound on pitch. You're going to just be flat or sharp. That's what it's going to be. So imagine how it's going to sound when you sound absolutely amazing. But in your voice, don't get another amazing singer stuck in your mind because they're sounding nothing like you. You want to sound authentically like you, which also means you need to start listening to your voice more. Record yourself more often because you will sound different like from the outside than what you perceive. Ears are built inside of your skull. You know, what would you perceive? It sounds so different than what it sounds to the outside world. That's a lot of times when we see ourselves on video or photo when we're not used to it it sounds it, it looks almost like is that me i i don't recall myself looking like that because usually we just see ourselves in the mirror and we don't see ourselves when we're like like everyday movements so record yourself often and record yourself be critical but don't determine that like ooh it's just all horrible but what you want to do is you want to determine that you are going to sound amazing. You know, you're, you're going to sound great. It's going to be authentically you. And you're going to learn what it sounds like. You're going to have those moments when you hear like, oh, that, that, that sounded pretty good. I actually love that. And you need to fall in love with your voice. You need to start loving, even if it's just a moment that you're hearing, you're hearing it and you're like, that was actually great. I love that. Build on that. Don't just hammer it in it's like, ooh, all the bad stuff, because then the bad stuff is going to continue to happen. Register all the good things, build on that. Do more of the good stuff and the things that don't sound like you desire them to sound. Work on them and determine what it is that you need to work on. Be intentional about it. Alrighty, you have an amazing day. I hope to see you in one of my classes. Make sure you head over to my website, masteryourvoice.tv. And if you have not done it, make sure you download my book. It is free. It's actually $14.99 on Amazon, but I put it on my website for free because I want more of you to really get something out of this and to be motivated and inspired. And by the way, when you download that, you also get the audiobook for free. It's all in there and I narrate it. No brainer, right? Hope to see you soon. Always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. I know it can be really hard to control where the tongue goes and it might block your sound, 
to where you sound nasal. But the truth is, don't really think about the tongue. The tongue isn't something that's isolated. The tongue has the tip and the middle of the tongue, and the back of the tongue kind of goes back into your throat, which then 